One way to visualize what's going on inside the wind tunnel is to add smoke. This device, called Little Smokey, puts smoke into the airflow so we can see what's happening. The scientists at NASA use another technique. I've brought a hardened version of the FPG-9 to the Dryden Flow Visualization Facility to test its aerodynamics. Just like with Little Smokey, this test allows us to see what the airflow would be like moving over a model. The models that we have here represent the airplanes that NASA flies. To test a new design, engineers can put any model inside the fluid tunnel. From there, we can make observations about the model or specific parts of the design. It is purely just what we're seeing with our eyes and using engineering judgment to basically make the call. Water tunnel tested, NASA approved. It's time for you to fly. Over the years, NASA turned what was once science fiction into science fact. They went faster than the speed of sound. And he does it, the first human to crack the sound barrier traveled into outer space, and created a legacy that continues to inspire us today. In the skies above NASA Dryden, you can see some pretty interesting aircraft, some we can't even talk about. A lot of the work taking place at NASA is still centered around the use of a model. These days, the models being used can do all the things that a full-sized aircraft can. One of the reasons we use models, it's cheaper. It adds a level of safety that you can't get using manned vehicles on many occasions. We get an early look at what the behavior of a uh, unusual shape would be. These remote controlled models are used to test ideas for bigger versions. You can go out there and you can check that out to see if it's really flyable. You, the wind tunnel tells you an awful lot, says, yeah, you can probably get this performance out of it, you'll get that, uh, it'll, it'll behave like this. But until you actually go out there and fly it, you don't really know. If the tests work out on a small scale, chances are the full-size idea will work too. As a matter of fact, the space shuttle is a product of this type of research. I get a lot of sense of accomplishment. I've, uh, uh, growing up, um, I, I started flying models and I says, well, what? Geez, we ought to be able to put these to work. Uh, uh, I, I knew about wind tunnels. I says, why can't we do that same kind of work uh, with a model airplane?